week on Friday, it's Earth Day. And on Earth Day, we teachers can be just a little bit hypocritical. We teach our students how important it is to take care of our Earth by chanting, reduce, reuse, recycle, and by generating huge lists and charts of all the ways that our kids can make a difference towards a sustainable future. And then we head to the copy machine and we copy worksheet after worksheet that is Earth Day themed. A color by sight word Earth Day sheet, a color by number Earth Day sheet, a fact sheet about Earth Day, a mini book about Earth Day, mountains of papers that we pile up when we're supposed to be celebrating a day that we take care of our Earth and reduce the waste that we use on a daily basis. It's time to do some projects with our kids that show them the true meaning of Earth Day. For the past two weeks, I have been doing some research for you on the best upcycling projects you can do with your child that are not only very cute, but also incredibly useful for you or for them. Let's celebrate Earth Day the right way. If you're interested in any of the projects that you see, I am going to link all of the websites where I found them below. So have fun and get creative. All right, let's get started with some upcycling ideas that you can do using just toilet paper roll tubes, which if your house is anything like mine, I'm sure you already have plenty of them in your recycling bin as we speak. This first idea comes from upcyclemystuff.com. It is a toy car garage using toilet paper roll tubes and a small box. It's pretty self-explanatory. All you do is get the box and then stack up the toilet paper roll tubes and put the cars inside. And there you go, you've got your car garage. I've also seen this same idea done where people use it as an art supply organizer. They will paint each of the tubes a different color and then add that color marker or crayon or colored pencil into the tube. And it is a really cost-effective and efficient way to organize art supplies. This next one is perfect for our tweens or our teens out there. And it comes from thecmanmom.com. It is a cell phone holder made from a toilet paper roll tube. Just let your child decorate the toilet paper roll tube, cut a hole in the top the size of their phone and add some push pins to the bottom and voila, you've got your cell phone holder. This next idea comes from firstpalette.com. I absolutely love it. It would be really great as an art activity or as something that you could put in a shadow box and mount in your house. It is three dimensional flowers that you can make out of toilet paper roll tubes and some acrylic paint. All you do is paint the toilet paper roll tubes whatever color you want your flowers to be and then cut them about the same distance, glue them into whatever shape flower you want and present them on your wall. This one is great and it comes from happytoddlerplaytime.com. Simple little binoculars that you can make with your child out of toilet paper roll tubes or paper towel tubes. You can see visually what you'll need for this project, but if you need a little bit more direction, just head to that website and you'll find everything you need to know. All right, moving on to upcycling tin cans, another object that I know I collect a lot of at my house. Let's see what we can do with these. I absolutely love this idea from Talk Crafts at talk.earth. These are little bugs that you can create out of tin cans. And for those of you that don't need a lot of direction, I went ahead and put a visual up from the website that shows exactly what you need, what the materials are, and how to create these adorable hanging bugs. If you need further direction though, I will link it below in the description box. I love this idea from kidcraftroom.com. These are tin can lanterns. As you can see, your child will design a lantern using dots and whatever shape they'd like to do, a heart, a star, a flower, doesn't matter. And then you will tape that design to the can and carefully drill holes into the can after you've painted it whatever color you wish. Then you just add a candle or one of those battery operated tea light candles and you've got yourself a lantern. Again, I would recommend going to the website for this one because they give very detailed instructions on how best to create this beautiful project. This next idea comes from happinessishomemade.net. These are wind socks that you can create out of tin cans, ribbon, acrylic paint, and some glue. Again, if you need more direction on how to create this project, head to that website. It is linked in the description box. This idea comes from triedandtrueblog.com and it is tin can planters that you can create to put all of your seedlings for springtime. There are so many different ways that you can decorate a tin can to create a planter. I thought these were cute, the ones that look like little heads and then the hair is the plant coming out the top. But of course you can decorate these however you wish. Don't forget to drill some holes in the bottom so that your water has a place to go. Last but not least, I want to emphasize that on Earth Day, one of the most important things you can teach your child is 
to plant seeds, to plant trees, to make the world a more beautiful place. This idea is all over Pinterest and all over every classroom I've ever seen, but I personally got these pictures from prekpages.com. This is growing beans in a bag or planting seeds in the classroom. Growing beans in a bag is an awesome way for your child to understand how seeds grow because they can see the roots start to grow down and the sprouts start to grow up. You can transplant them from the bag into a pot, which is what I did with my son's seeds when he brought them home from kindergarten. They are doing great and it's so much fun for them to keep a log of how that plant is growing and what changes they see each day. So what do you think? Are you gonna celebrate Earth Day the right way this year? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss one. Until next time, have fun learning with your little ones. Bye.